Let's take a look at how to add a grainy texture in Adobe Illustrator. First, we need some kind of rectangle. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, double click on the fill, and maybe change it to a color like this blue. Hit OK and create that rectangle. Now to show you the difference, I'm going to hold Option or Alt and duplicate this rectangle over. This rectangle on the right is the one I'm going to add a grainy texture to. I'm going to also show you how you can add the grainy texture to just the fill or the stroke or both. So let's add a stroke around this guy. Over here in the properties panel, I'm going to click on this icon and maybe add a darker blue or purpley stroke of about 10 point around this just to show you the difference. So we've got these two pieces. This could be a background. This could be any object in Illustrator. I'm gonna grab this guy on the right and we're gonna add the grainy texture by going up to window down to appearance. That's gonna pop out the appearance panel. In the appearance panel, we can add effects to strokes and fills. So if I click on this fill and make sure it's highlighted, I can go down to effects, texture, grain. Now this is gonna pull open a little window here where I can zoom in and out with command or control plus and minus now the grain effect might already be what you want, but you can adjust the intensity here. You can adjust the contrast as well. And you can also adjust the grain type if you want it to be a speckle, vertical grain, a regular grain. I personally like the soft grain. Now once you've adjusted this to be the liking, you can have it super subtle or something very intense. You just have to hit okay. And that is how you can add a grain texture here. So you might notice that the grain is only applied to the fill and not the stroke which makes sense because we only applied it to the fill. Make sure your object's selected. What we could do is hold Option or Alt on this grain effect, click and drag it, we're duplicating it to our stroke. Once we let go, that grain is also applied to the stroke. I'll zoom in here so you can kind of see that. Now, if you wanna change it, because maybe the color of your stroke is different than the background fill color, you can click on the grain to adjust its link. Now I didn't have this object selected, so if it looks like this, that's what it looks like when you don't have anything selected. I'm gonna select this object and then click on the grain, and I can actually see the stroke now and no fill. So we can adjust the intensity on the stroke separately from what's on the fill. Hit okay once you got it looking the way you want. Now that just kind of depends on the color of the stroke compared to the color of the background and how you want that applied. Mainly though, I wanted to show you that if your stroke doesn't have that grain, it's because we only applied it to the fill. We can also apply it to the stroke individually as well. And you don't even have to have a stroke on your object. If we hit zero on that, it goes away. We just have a grainy textured rectangle out here that if you wanted to, you could scale up and use as your background or any other object here. But that's how to add some texture to your elements here in Adobe Illustrator.